Japan warned of a mega quake as a mountain sized rock could act as a magnet. This is a newly found pluton. Scientists warned that a chunk of igneous rock under Japan could attract enormous earthquakes. The rock, which stretches underneath the southern coast of the country, is as large as a mountain. It could attract seismic activity, triggering huge earthquakes, scientists say. The rock was identified by three-dimensional visualing technology and became known as the Kumano Pluton. They determined that the tectonic energy from megaquakes appears to converge on points along the sides of the rock. Understanding this phenomenon could improve scientific predictions of when earthquakes will happen in that area. Suichi Kodaira, geophysicist working with the Japan Agency for Marine Earth Science, said, although it's impossible to see the future, this type of technology could act as a better indicator of what is to come concerning ge geology and earthquakes. Now, he said, we cannot predict exactly when, where, or how large future earthquakes will be, but by combining our model with monitoring data, we can begin estimating near future processes. He said that would provide very important data for the Japanese public to prepare for the next big earthquake. The Kumano Pluton rock falls under the Nankai subduction zone. That's where the Philippine Sea tectonic plate slides below, below, below the Euro, Eurasian plate. Areas where tectonic plates meet are, of course, associated with increased earthquake activity. The Kumano Pluton first discovered in 2006, but its full extent was never uncovered until just now. The term Pluton comes from the description of igneous rock that displaces underground rock before slowly cooling. Seismic imaging of the subduction zone highlighted the differing density of the Kumano Pluton compared with the surrounding rocks. Over 20 painstaking years, researchers then pieced together the extent of the Kumano Pluton. The data was then passed through a supercomputer at the University of Texas in Austin, and then it, that spat out about a 3D model of the rock in the subduction zone. The model revealing that the weight of the Kumano Pluton is bending the Earth's crust layer just below it. Researchers also identified in science that the, rocks has, uh, the rock has created a route for groundwater to pass into the upper mantle from the crust. With its density and rigidity, science believe the rock is impacting tectonic activity in the area as well. Adrian Arnolf of the University of Texas Institute for Geophysics said the discovery could offer an eye-opening insight into other regions. And this is Im his image of that Pluton. He said the fact that we can make a large discovery in an area that is already well studied is, I think, eye-opening to what might await at places that are less well monitored. This is uh, on Express UK by Ellie Cook. And now we'll go to the big data. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. So these, these 20 years of uh, seismic data processing through the world's most powerful supercomputers created the first complete 3D visualization of the mountain-sized rock, the Kumano Pluton, buried miles under the coast of southern Japan. We can see the, the, how the rock could be acting like a lightning rod for the region's mega quakes, diverting tectonic energy into points along its sides where several of the region's largest earthquakes have already taken place. Scientists have known about the Pluton for years, but were aware only of small portions of it. And thanks to this new technology by the international team of scientists, University of Texas, Austin, they now have a view of the entire subterranean formation and its effect on the region's tectonics. The findings provide crucial information for major new Japanese government-funded project to find out whether another major great quake is building in the Nankai subduction zone where this pluton is located. This is what Suichi Kodaira uh, explains to us. He's director of the Japan Agency for Marine Earth Science and Technology He's the co-author of the study published recently, February 3rd, in the journal Nature Geoscience. He says, we cannot predict exactly when, where, or how large future earthquakes will be, but by combining our model 
With monitoring data, we can begin estimating near future processes. Kodaira, who was among the scientists who first spotted the signs of the Kumano Pluton back in 2006, said that will provide very important data for the Japanese public to prepare for the next big earthquake. Now, the full extent of the Kumano Pluton revealed using the Lone Star 5 supercomputer at University of Texas uh, Austin Advanced Computing Center, and they pieced together 20 years of seismic data and uh, for, formed, framed a single high definition 3D model. The uh, Adrian Arnoff, the uh, assistant professor at the University of Texas, who is the study lead author, says, the fact that we can make such a large discovery in an area that is already well studied is, I think, eye-opening to what might await at places that are less well monitored. So this model shows a region around the Nankai subduction zone, the Earth crust bending under this area of the weights Pluton. In another unexpected finding, the Pluton was seen diverting buried groundwater into the Earth's interior. The researchers think the Pluton interference with the wider subduction zone is influencing the tectonic forces that cause the earthquakes. Okay, so this is the visual map. We're on the University of Texas site concerning this, the Pluton in uh, just uh, now mapped in uh, southern Japan. Okay, the visual map of the data used in the UT-led study to recreate the Earth, uh, the Earth under southern Japan. To build a 3D model, the scientists use Japan's network of earthquake monitoring sensors, red symbols, to trace seismic shock waves colored ray paths to their source, the blue symbols, and extract information on the surrounding geology. Compiled with the help of Fr Frontera Supercomputer UT Texas Advanced Computing Center, it is the largest seismic data set ever created. Just 2% is shown here. And credit again, this is from Adrian Arnoff, University of Texas Jackson School of Geoscience. Okay, this is again the Nankai subduction zone, 3D ray paths and data source, as you can see. Right there. In addition to shedding light on how the Pluton may be influencing how and where earthquakes occur, the study is a major demonstration of how big data could revolutionize earthquake science. Arnov envisions the same methods being used to make regional scale imaging in other areas such as Japan, New Zealand, Cascadia of the West Coast, Pacific and Northwest, all of which have subduction zones known to host the Earth's largest earthquakes. The research funded by US National Science Foundation, additional co-authors include scientists at Scripps Institution of Oceanography at the University of California, San Diego, so uh, also the uh, UT Jackson School of Geoscience. Cosandinos Panagopoulos is the uh, contact there. Obviously, that's the Greek name. Uh, so please leave your comments and thank you for your support.